Welcome back to another beer review. This is by Freem, I think that's how it's said, Brewing out of Hood River, Oregon. The brewery started in 2012. From what I can tell, they're largely known to make Belgian style ales. This is Mosaic Pale Ale. Here's what it looks like. Pretty much all the bottles look about the same. You know, they're gold and black with the trees in the background. I don't know any way to tell them apart except the title up here. You'll think you've landed the tropics when you open this bottle. Mosaic single hop pale. Sit back and let the wafts of mango and citrus tease the senses. Here's why I read back there, but it's going to be too hard to see considering it's gold on black. The website gives a little more detail here. It talks about having mango, blueberry, and pungent. It's saying it should be bright golden with an amber hue. How's that possible to be golden with an amber hue? It has citrus aromas and some lemon pine and a little bit of blueberry. That's why they call it mosaic. That's a hot style hop. As far as I know, this beer has been around for several years now. This beer is only available in the winter. It cost me $5 for this bottle. The malts are Rar Pale, Simpsons Caramalt, and Simpsons Crystal Light. Pale malt is fermentable sugars, not really much color. And depending on your senses, you might get some bread, some crackers, some dough. I've never used Simpsons Caramalt before, but from what I'm reading, slight sweet flavors and a little bit of a red hue. Simpsons Crystal Light, which sounds like a drink, golden hue color and gives a little bit of multi sweetness, caramel and toffee. As I mentioned, it's only single hop with mosaic. They give tropical berry fruity flavors, American ale yeast, but they're not specific on which one they use. Probably light body, 6.3% alcohol, 45 IBU, for American pale ales, they're usually hot bombs. They need to have 500,000 IBUs. Fruity, citrusy, maybe a little bit of floral, a little bit of hop bite to it. Light color, dark color. There's really no one way to do it. They're, they're all over the place. Let's get me a sample, a man-sized sample. That is golden. That's not an amber hue. Pretty thick head, that's a good quarter inch. And it's dying down quickly. It is very clear, as you can tell. Can you see me through it? Yep, you can. Very effervescent. Can you see all those bubbles coming up? No particles, no sediment. Probably used kettle findings in it. And they cold crashed it well, and they probably used a high flocculent yeast. Nice, clean appearance. Yeah, but as soon as I stick my nose in it, I immediately get fruity aromas. They're not punch in the face, but they're very present. I'm thinking a light berry. I am getting some citrus, possibly some lemony in there. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit of mango and light tropical fruit. All these are a little subtle. I can't tell exactly what it is. I'm kind of guessing. opens up coats my whole mouth the first thing hits me is hops not a punch but they're there between light and medium body a light fruit background there is some citrus in there citrus aromatics are actually stronger than the fruit the flavors stick into my mouth or the roof and then they're ever so slowly dissipating Maybe a little bit of spiciness in there, potentially. I'm not getting bread, cracker. I was expecting a little bit of caramel, toffee, sweetness from the malts like they mentioned here. No, this beer is showcasing the hops. Or hop, I should say, since it's a single hop. The hop nibble stays around the longest of anything. It's a little thin and watery, but not too bad. This is a simple recipe. It's quite simple. Three malts, one hop. For the malt profile, very subtle. For the hop profile, even though it's one hop, I think it gives an okay array of flavors. For the nose, I get you know, some berry, some tropical fruits, uh, citrus, you know, lemon from the beer itself when I drink it. I'm only getting hops, lemon, citrus. I don't think it matches the uh, description, the profile that well. I mean, I'm not, not getting any mango or any berries or anything out of the beer. I'm 
the same body. It's um, light, maybe a little bit medium, little bit of citrus, lemon, no fruit. The hops are the most present. I'm really trying to get some tropical tones out of this. I'm just not getting them. It's all citrus and lemon, which isn't bad, that's fine, but if you can tell me there's tropical flavors in it, you might want to put some in it. What happens when I drink it is I get the onslaught of hops followed by the citrus, but when the citrus dies down, the hops are still all over the place. Between the glass and the bottle, I really can't tell any difference, they taste the same. No off flavors in this beer or any of the frame beers I've ever had. Skunk or rubbing alcohol. I've never had any you know, chemical acetone paint thinner, diacetyl, fuse alcohols, rotten fruit, DMS. Their quality is, is very solid. I will give them that. Will I buy it again? No, I won't. I just don't really like it that much. It's a little too hoppy for me and I don't get enough of the tropical flavors I was really looking for. Will I recommend it? Yeah, I would. It's a good beer. Some pale ales are hoppy, some are fruity, some are floral, they're all over the place. So I think they did fine with it. It doesn't have all the flavors I would expect, but I'm not saying that's bad, but this one's fine. Um, you know, I think it's very well done. Freedom Brewing out of Hood River, Oregon. Mosaic Pale Ale. If you have any comments, suggestions, thoughts, feedback, anything, let me hear them. That's all I have for this review. I'm going to finish this one off. Cheers. This beer is available all year round. No, it's not. I was wrong about that. Simpsons Caramel. What the fuck is that? Man, I have it some bottle caps for that's like I need a crowbar to get them off. It's like, you obviously don't want me to have your beer that bad. That kind of sounds sexual now that I think about it. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't make any sense.